there's continuing maintenance that he's going to come back and do. I know he's going to look at it tomorrow, um, but we didn't realize the beam issue until after he had left. Right, so can't so, you guys just turn that off? Because, you know, extremely low frequencies and frequencies in general are not healthy for any living thing. So can't you guys just turn that off? I'm not sure if that's the issue. Um, it's just hitting off of some sort of feature or um, cause it's, it's scattering the beam. So... So what do you think that's doing to all the particulates up there, all the metals and aerosols and stuff? In the air? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The beam is being scattered. Right. So, so is it bouncing off? So the calibration is, is not necessarily correct. However, it's only in that direction. So there must be something that either it's bouncing off of or... Something's going on um, in that regard, but that's why we're why, that's why we're seeing the the radar look like that because it's scattering those. Uh huh. Now, now, have may I ask you? Have you ever heard of uh, climate engineering? In what regard? Climate geoengineering. You heard, ever heard geo of geoengineering? Yeah. You ever, you ever heard of that? Uh, no, I've not. Oh, you should you should do some research on that. Uh, how so? In what direction? What, what exactly are you are pertaining to? Well, it starts with all the spraying in the skies. It starts with what, I'm sorry? Spraying chemicals and aerosols, heavy metals in the skies. So cloud seeding? No, not cloud seeding. This is above cloud seeding. You've never above heard cloud seeding. You've never heard of climate. What about weather modification? So, so cloud seeding. No, geoengineering, climate engineering, solar radiation management, SRM, stratospheric. That's not a thing. Uh, yes. So cloud seeding does exist. Um, ski resorts do it um, on a really small scale, but it's. It costs a lot of money to do. Well, if you're pertaining to contrails, that is exhaust. So it's much uh, like your car. Yeah. Uh, induction motor. So there's a small explosion that happens in the engine itself. Now that, and when yeah. you're really high up in the atmosphere, the temperatures are really cold. No. So <laughs> when you factor in a really warm engine and exhaust from that engine. Uh -huh going into a very cold atmosphere, uh -huh. that's what occurs because that air can't hold that moisture anymore. So, so that's why clouds occur and exist. Could you explain so to me then how, how contrails are black and leave a big uh, black never. trail? I've not seen any that are that way. Oh, you haven't? Um, oh. You should look around. There's plenty of evidence. Um, okay. it, yeah, it's no secret what's going on. But the, the thing, the problem is, is we know also these next rads, Dopplers, all can be used to move all this mass that they're putting in the sky. 